Hello, hello. Hi, Anne. What's new? Nothing much. Somebody just told me about this crazy sounding new dating app. Oh, really? What's it called? Voter or something? Without the E. Probably so it sounds more playful or democratic, I don't know. Oh, I like that. Something about an E just really turns me off, you know? But it doesn't matter, I don't think I'll register. Really? Why not? You know, I'd rather just meet somebody the old fashioned way. Like, run into them on the street or something. Right. I'm gonna be so completely honest, I don't think those wild ballots are selling themselves anytime soon. Good point, well argued, but it's not like my life would change or whether or not I sign up. That's just the thing that makes this so different from other dating apps. You see, matchmaking is gonna happen whether you want it to or not. It's just a matter of if you participate in who you want to get matched with. But come November 5th, cuffing season's here. I'm gonna get arrested? No, no, it's not that kind of cuffing season. Think of it more like you're getting locked down. Wasn't locked down four years ago? Well, yes, but, but, but no, you're missing the point. It's more like you're hard launching the most influential open marriage of your life. Every few years, you renew your vows to help better serve your relationship. And even though the outcome of these vows doesn't just necessarily depend on you, your commitment to them is very important. Who am I getting matched with again? They're called the, uh, the president. Red flag. More like red, white, and blue flag, but uh, anyways, the first choice is the president, and then there's other candidates and hot topics to choose from too. It's already so close to the deadline though, do I even have time to sign up? In some states, you can register, create a profile, and get matched all on the same day until November 5th. Then let's go voting!